AI's been making waves in many industries, but will it be able to take on the creative and complex field of web design? Join us as we explore this topic and discuss whether AI will simply be a useful tool to make the web design industry more efficient, or if it's uh, a threat to our creative careers. AI is amazing, and it seems like everyone's talking about it. Recently, you may have noticed people sharing digital art versions of themselves created by AI on your social media feeds. From celebrities to your friends, AI-generated art seems like it's a pretty popular trend these days. Heck, even I did it. Did you know that AI can help us write content? I personally use it to overcome writer's block and to come up with different content ideas. In fact, most of what I've said so far was, no surprise, written by AI. It's a common trick in these AI videos. We, we talk about, we try to make it seem real natural and then we're like, hey, surprise, AI wrote this script. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna use AI throughout this video to kind of spruce up some of the parts, help me structure my ideas a little, but rest assured, this is me, it's all me, okay? I don't wanna sound like a dumb robot. Sorry AI, I don't mean to hurt your feelings. It's crazy how advanced AI has become and how it can assist us, even augment our creative work. Plus, sometimes working by yourself from home can get a little lonely, so you end up talking to AI like it's your friend. So, what do you like? Ah, uh, so boring. We can ask AI to create digital art that we've never seen before and that most of us could never produce, let alone in the seconds it takes AI to generate it. It's crazy. An impressionist oil painting of a man eating a basketball on a farm. <laughs> Why, I couldn't have done this better myself. And now there's something called Chat GPT. I don't know who's coming up with these AI names, but they're awful. Anyway, that's just the way it is, I guess. It's probably Zoomers. Anyway, ChatGPT is a conversational AI that can teach us humans how to debug code, write computer programs, and a lot more. We can even ask ChatGPT to write jokes. Friend, tell me a funny joke that only graphic designers would understand. Here's a joke that only graphic designers would understand. Why did the graphic designer get arrested? For you mean Comic Sans in a police report. Comic Sans is a widely disliked font among graphic designers that is often seen as unprofessional and childish. Using it in a police report would be a serious faux pas leading to the designers in arrest in this hypothetical scenario. Oh, there's nothing worse than a bad joke and then a person immediately explaining the joke and why it's supposed to be funny. Oh. Now, as cool as this technology seems, it's natural to wonder if AI will eventually be able to replace designers. After all, it's only a matter of time before AI will learn to design mockups, code them in HTML, write the website copy, create multiple design revisions, tasks that can take designers years to master and weeks or even months to complete for a client. So will AI outperform and ultimately replace human designers? I think the short answer is yes. And the more nuanced answer is no. Allow me to explain. It's likely that AI will eventually replace low-level repetitive design tasks, such as creating icons, assets, and simple mockups. Also, AI can automate tasks like writing copy and generating color palettes, even coding basic HTML and CSS templates. My dearest BFF, AI, BFFI, please generate cozy Christmas-themed color palette for my website. Sure, here are a few options. Warm and cozy. This palette features warm colors like red, orange, yellow, evoking feelings of comfort. Traditional. Okay, you're just telling me, you're just telling me different color palettes. Like, give me some, give me some actual, give me some hex codes. Let me try this again. Create a color palette in hex codes for my Christmas themed website. Sure, here are a few options. Traditional Christmas, 
Oh, wow. Cozy and warm. Festive and bright. Remember, you can always mix and match these colors to create your own unique palette. I mean, I wouldn't just go ahead and just mix and max match random colors. But hey, I mean, well, that's pretty cool. These tasks are not very valuable in the grand scheme of things. And AI can add value by speeding them up and automating these processes. Now, AI can be a valuable tool for agencies or high value freelance designers. It can help them to work more efficiently and focus on tasks that require human skills like empathy and creativity. Imagine having a robot assistant who doesn't need to eat, sleep, or go pee who's always available to help with tedious, boring, repetitive tasks and won't complain about it. So you can focus on those higher value human tasks. Show that you have good manners. That's a good robot. However, AI is likely to replace many designers who compete in low value, repetitive work. These designers may be beginners who are not very skilled or maybe they're hobbyists who don't take their work seriously. If this sounds like you, well, heads up, AI is coming to eat your lunch. That's not my lunch, is it? It's important to stay up to date on the latest developments, trends, and tech in the design industry to continuously improve both your technical and business skills, and to, to stay abreast on the, on the design world, to stay competitive. Look, it's natural for people to be afraid of technology taking their jobs. We've seen many examples of jobs being replaced by automation over the years, the centuries, the decades, such as human computers, like actual humans who were just skilled at doing math in their head. Now these jobs may have been valuable in the past, but we don't need them thanks to the actual invention of actual computers. It's important to embrace new technology and to adapt to change rather than hold on to outdated job roles. Although it'd be pretty sick to do fast math in your head. Similarly, the job of a cashier is being replaced by self checkout kiosks. Travel agents are mostly a thing of the past too. These advances are certainly inconvenient to those losing their jobs, but it's unlikely that many people would want to go back to the older manual methods of operating elevators, checking out at stores. Although there's something romantic about the idea of going to a travel agent and saying, Gertrude, book me a delightful cruise within the fortnight, somewhere warm, where my wife and kitties can enjoy the sun deck while I gaze on, penning poetic ponderings upon the leaflets in my diary. I, I think that's how people used to use travel agents anyway. <laughs> Honestly, I've used a travel agent in my adult lifetime, but I mean, I can find a good trip for a good price, probably book it on points so it's free while I'm drinking a latte on my couch during lunch break. It's just so much better, right? Mm. What's a latte? With technology constantly improving, it's no surprise that some jobs will be replaced. Now, this sucks for the people who lose their jobs, but it's important to look on the bright side too. Whenever a new technology arises, it creates new problems and therefore new opportunities to make a living. So, even though technology can be a bummer for some people and occupations, it can also be a good thing if you're willing to keep your eyes open Look, look upon the horizon and, and look at it that way. Now, in the future, no, even right now, we need designers who are really good at what they do. Not just any designer, but the ones who are skilled, specialized, talented, unique, empathetic, creative. They need to be very creative and also very entrepreneurial too. They'll need to know how to talk to AI and how to use it to help augment their design process for themselves and their clients. But they'll also need to know how to connect with their clients, understand the problems and desires, and then translate that into solutions that really matter, make a difference and add value to other people. In order to avoid being replaced as a designer, you need to be really good at your job. That means improving your hard and soft skills, pursuing excellence and specializing in something. But it also means being flexible and being able to pivot if needed. You need to understand your client's needs and be able to explain why your solution is the best one and 
you should also get better at things like sales conversations, master a tool, even raise your rates to allow you the ability to deliver more value than your competitors who are being eaten away by AI. Instead of seeing AI as a threat, you can use AI to your advantage to help you stay ahead of the game. Think fast, think big, be high value, or be replaced. Did this strike a chord with you? Are you worried? What do you think? Am I wrong? Let me know down below, and I'll see you in the next one.